Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video we're going to write a get height function to get the maximum height of a binary search tree in Python. First, let's take a look at a binary search tree and see how it works. Each binary search tree has a root node, which is the topmost node. We're always going to start at that node when we're trying to get the height. The height of this tree we can see is 4. There are four different levels of the tree, 1, 2, 3, 4. So clearly this tree has four levels, or we could look at it as one for the root node plus the height of the tallest subtree. So the tallest subtree is here, but we need to compare both subtrees to see which one is taller and then add one to that. So we have a left subtree and a right subtree. So for each subtree, we could say, well, the height of this subtree is one plus the height of its tallest subtree. So we have a left subtree and a right subtree. And then we could do the same thing on the right subtree of the 5. This height of the 8 subtree is 1 plus the height of its tallest subtree. So we can see this is a recursive solution. We're going to use recursion to solve this problem, which is common in trees. As you descend down a tree, it's pretty easy to call the function over and over until you reach the bottom of the tree. Here's our Python binary search tree. This is our tree class. We're going to look at the tree class first. We have two get height methods. We have a get height function here in the tree class. We have another one up above in the node class. So let's first look at the one in the tree class. Like all the other functions here in the tree class, this is really just a wrapper function. All we do is check and see if there's a root node. And if there is a root node, then we go ahead and call the get height function using the root node as the calling object. And if there's not, we return zero because there's nothing in the tree. It's an empty tree, so we return zero. So let's take a look up above at the get height function up here in the node class. First we're going to check and see if there's a left child and a right child. If so, we'll return 1 plus the max of the height of the left child and the right child. Those are recursive function calls, so it's going to continue to call this function over and over, just with one node down. And then if there's a left child, obviously there's not both, then we'll return 1 plus the height of the left child. And if there's only a right child, we'll return 1 plus the height of the right child. And if there's only a right child, then we'll return 1 plus the height of the right child. And otherwise, in other words, there are no children, we would just return 1. So that's it. It's a pretty straightforward uh, recursive function, get height. And the base case here, 1, is basically the last thing shown. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.